Right, hi guys, it's going to be a very quick video, probably, I think this is my first vocal instruction video, and I couldn't have picked a weirder bloody sound to do with it, but basically this is just going to be a quick one on whistle voice, and how to ac access it, and how to work it, and mainly this is with the aim, because whistle voice has a limited application to most mainstream music, unless you're Ariana Grande or one of those people, you know, or Mariah Carey, not many people use it that much, but... It has a great application to making your actual high notes that you would use in like full-blown falsetto or whatever you want to call it. You know, those rock scream type things. It can extend your range with that. And it's done so with mine, even though I'm not that good at whistle voice. But working that area will strengthen the muscles that make that coordination happen. So, what I mean by whistle voice is this type of sound. And you can hear it's clicky and where, first of all, not very warmed up, but mainly I'm not particularly good with that sound. But if you work it, it does extend your falsetto range, you know, your main falsetto range. I can comfortably get up to about A5 now, you know. Those notes, you know. And that's in, it's not like a tiny little brittle crackly whistle voice, you know. It's actually extending that part of my range by working it. And if you listen, when I do the whistle voice stuff, if I try and do it now, so that's the E above soprano C. I'm trying to bring it down, it's getting crackly and distorted because I can't coordinate properly between the different muscles involved. When I'm working a high enough note like that, it comes out fairly easily. Again, you know, bit up, bit down, whatever. But I can't coordinate it properly. And basically all I've got to do to strengthen that up and extend my range even further is just keep working that sound. Keep working the whistle voice, keep strengthening it up, and the same with you guys. So how you get into it is this isn't like a falsetto thing where you're just pushing it up really high. And I used to struggle with exercises because that's what I tried to do. I tried to muscle my way through, which is possible even with pure falsetto work. So the idea of whistle voice is that it's an incredibly light, small, thin sound. You can get a feel for it by inhaling, you know, not doing an exhale like you normally would when singing, but you can do an inhale, and that can lead to some other cool sounds like you might actually use when singing. But uh, that's for another video. But yeah, so you get a feel for it by inhaling and trying to get the notes there. That sort of thing, you know, that can give you a feel for what the voice is like. And then you can try that on an exhale, but mainly go really quiet and just try to slide up into it. I mean, really minuscule quiet, as if no one, you know, you don't want anyone to hear it at all, which is probably quite fitting given the nature of the sound, even when you're good at it. But yeah, so just go really quiet from low down in your range on a new vowel and try to slide up. You hear it click into that, and it will take some practice to be able to do it, but mainly you're just trying to find this sound. If you can break into it and get the feel for it, that's great. Do it on really narrow vowels. The ooh vowel's really good because it cuts all the chest voice sort of, well, you know, M1, chest voice, full voice, whatever, the lower range. It cuts out the involvement of the muscles that make those sounds happen. It's why I get the cracky bits trying to navigate between the ranges in the high end. And yeah, it'll allow you to work your whistle voice and develop that. You know, not good. Not good at all. But you get the idea. It will get you in there, and from there you can practice it up and try it out. So yeah. A narrow ooh vowel, try it on uh, inhales, and there's also a couple of other things, you know, but basically you're just trying to slide up into it, you know, I've seen one video uh, from a guy, I, I won't say his name, I don't know how it works with copyright and stuff, but he just goes, bop, 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 and you hear the squeaks come out, you know, just a little bop, bop sort of sound, something about it uh, with the airflow and that, it'll knock you up into there. But try it, get the feel for it, find those notes, hold them, you don't even have to move about with them, just hold them, get good with the one note, then start wiggling about as you get good at it, it will extend the range you can do it in, and keep working, you'll encounter those crackly bits where you can't navigate, whatever. Work slowly, work very smoothly, just try to iron them out and see how it goes. So yeah, I hope that helps, catch you next video, bye!